Yeah, hello, welcome. Let's see how we are going to solve this problem here. This exponential equation. The question said 3 to power x plus 3 to power x plus 1 plus 3 to power x plus 2 plus 3 to power x plus 4 equals 846. So now we can write this equation from like from the law of indices like this 3 to the power of x multiplying 3 to the power of 1. So that if you want to turn back to this, so since this is at the same basis, so the powers uh, will be added. So we're going to have this. So the same thing we did here, 3 to the power of x, right, multiplied by 3 to the power of 2, plus 3 to the power of x, multiplied by 3 to the power of 4, equals 846. So now from here, you can see 3 to the power of x, this common. So we factorize it out here. 3 to the power of x divided by 3 to the power of x, we have 1. Plus 3 to the power of x dot 3 to the power of 1 divided by this, we'll be left with 3. So this divided by this, we're going to have 3 to the power of 2. Plus 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of 4 divided by 3 to the power of x, we're going to have 3 to the power of 4. Then we have 8 other than 46. So now, the next thing we do, we have 3 to the power x. Let's simplify this further. We have 1 plus 3 plus uh, 9. 9. 3 to the power 2 will give us 9. Then this will give us 81. Then equals 846. So now if you try to add this, 1 plus 3 plus 9 plus 81, that will give us 94. Right? Everything here is 94. So equals 846. Are you following? So now from there, we are going to we are going to divide both sides by 94, right? So dividing both sides by 94, this we cancel this. So we're going to have 3 to the power x equals. Now 846 divided by 94. So we're going to have we're going to have this to be 9. So now since we are having this, let's write 9. 9 is something as 3 times 3. Which same thing as 3 to the power of 2. So therefore, we write 9 as in this form as 3 to the power of 2. So we have 3 to the power of x equals 3 to the power of 2. So since the, the bases are the same, so this implies that x equals 2. So therefore, the value of x we are looking for that will satisfy this equation is what is 2. Right? So if you want to check. So I would like you to do that yourself. Just substitute the power of, we have 2 plus 3, 2 plus 1, we have 3, plus 3, 2 plus 2, we have 4, plus 3, 2 plus 4, we have what? We have uh, 6, right? So if you try to add all of these together, so try to see if it will give you 846. So I've done that and it actually gave me 846. So you can actually do the same. So to confirm whether all these on the left hand side so will be equals to 846 at the right hand side. So that's the end of the class. Thank you so much for watching. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not done that before. Hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime you upload a new content. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.